All right, you know exactly what this box is. Welcome back to Jackpot Tiger. Oh my God. Got a new Pokeball, by the way. This is pretty cool. So uh, no Pokemon unboxing so far in this, I guess, new year. But we did get a Pokeball. Um, yeah, you guys know exactly what this box is. I'm still on my Yu-Gi-Oh! kick right now. But um, we know what card we're looking for here. We're looking for the uh, IP Mascarena Starlight Rare. Because that is the Yu-Gi-Oh! box. Uh, I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh! card to get right now. This box is pretty ripped up. I got this on TCG Player. So uh, not the best condition box here. I'm kind of a little concerned about the pulls here. But you know what they say. Appearances don't always dictate. Actually, I don't know anybody who says that. Whatever. We Let's, let's open this because I'm very excited. I haven't opened this uh, before, of course. But I have heard a lot about the set. Because everybody here wants that IP Masquerina. So let's see if we can pull it. Let's see if we can pull any Starlight Rare. Let's see if I can even recognize what a Starlight Rare looks like. <laughs> if you've seen the previous uh, couple Yu-Gi-Oh videos, I'm still trying to get a hang of like what the heck the cards are even considered. Like, okay, right off the bat, this is a... Oh, this is a rare. Okay, so this is an Ultra Rare, Draco Masters of the Tenyi. So cool, right off the bat, we got that card. This is the rest Gladiator. I do like Gladiator decks in um, Duel Links. They are pretty fun to play. And uh, there, there actually is decent support here. So I'm interested to see what the future of the Gladiators are like. Because, well, we're not this far ahead yet in uh, Duel Links. There are no Link cards in Duel Links yet. So once this... Once gladiators evolve a little more, I wonder what it's going to look like in the um, in the Duel Links game. And then our Unchained Twins Rakia and a Peaceful Burial. So I guess the way I should do this is because this set has rare cards. We should just put the rares here. And then we'll put the Hollow Super Rare right there. These are the rest of the cards here. Okay. It is kind of funny. It is kind of funny if you think about it now. You know, they have a rare card, and every single pack also has a hollow. Whereas in the old days, you know, it's just it's just one. Either you have really good luck, or you have really, you know, no luck. <laughs> but let us see what we can pull in this box. Our first ever Chaos Impact. So we have a, a Mimi Kuro, a Marinus... Marinsis? Marinsis Mandarin? Marinsis? I don't know. Ooh, Aro Aromasphy Sweet Ma Majorum. So this is a Roma deck. I do play this in uh, Duel Links because it's free. So ah, I'm interested to see a Synchro Monster there. Yeah. You know, that that is an archetype that I do like playing, uh, especially how they implement it in Duel Links. You can just get all the cards from the card trader, all the important cards. Well, most of the important cards. The spell and trap cards, you still have to get... Um, you still have to pull them. But most of what you need to run that deck is pretty much free, you know? And it, it's pretty fun to play that deck. It's pretty crazy, though. Um, if you're a noob like me, sometimes you get overboard and I timed out in PvP before. Uh, Tyrant Farm pulled another one here and a Bounty. Ah, uh, I get it, Bounty. So this is a super rare. So we have two super rares so far. I'm uh, sorry, two ultra rares. See, see, I keep... I feel like... I feel like... <laughs> okay. I feel like the uh, ultra rares and the super rares should be switched. I feel like ultra is better than secret. I, I, I don't know. That's just my weird mentality. I, I don't even think that's from me being messed up by Pokemon because it, it's not. It's not. It's just for me, for some reason, I just feel like Ultra Rare is just the rarest you should get. And of course, you know, I've never pulled a Starlight Rare, so I don't know what that feels like. Gladiator Beast tra Charge and a Gorgon Empress of the Evil Eye. That's a pretty nice looking card. Blue matches the blue. But yeah, I, I for some reason, I just feel like Ultra Rare sounds m more rare than Secret Rare. You know, I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people, but 
in my brain it does for some reason. And I like I I know the gold text isn't as does it means the card's not as rare as the shiny silver text. Uh, well, we don't have one here yet, but once we pull one, I can show you Unchained Twins Rakia. Of course, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. All of you guys. Oh, this is a pretty card. Oneros, the Dream Mirror Ur King, Earl King. See, wait, wait. Eh, every single video, I have to complain about how difficult it is to um, <laughs> to say these card titles. Like, what? Uh, what? What? Marin? So this this thing, Marin Sis, it's like princess, but mar like mariners, marines. I, I have no idea how they combine these words together. It just, you got to watch the anime, I guess. Oh, here's an arrow mage, uh, Laurel. We don't have that in Duel Links yet, not that I know of. A Marin Sis Sea Angel, speak of the devil. This is a Marin Sis um, set, spiritual entanglement, and a unchanged soul of anguish, secret rare. See, I got it right, right? This is a secret rare. This is a, I think, $3.84. Yeah, on TCG Player, it's a $3.84. So not one of the uh, rarer secret rares you can get. But yeah, this looks like a Naito Fox from um, from Naruto. Cool. Okay, so that's one of our secret rares. Hopefully, hopefully we get something else. Because we're supposed to get two, I believe, secret rares. So, uh, fingers crossed that it's one of the better ones. Okay, we got Abom Abom Abominable Chamber of the Unchained. Primio Pr Primero, Primero Manstrong. Old Mine. Gladiator Beast United again. And Dream Mirror Hyponagia. I like the art on these on this set of cards, though. I, I do have to admit they do look really nice. Even the uh, even the non expensive cards in these newer Yu Gi Oh sets are. Oh, this isn't a new Yu Gi Oh set, but you know what I mean. Compared to the really old days, you know, like the original Duel Monsters, the art has improved drastically. So I, I do appreciate uh, collecting these now. Gladiator Beast charge again, and a Fantasios the Dream Mirror. Friend, okay. Dogs from. Oh, okay. Aroma gardening. I love this card. I use this card in duelings all the time. So this is in this set. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. That must be a reprint. Right. That's a reprint, right, guys? So, let's see what else is in here. Oh, some of these packs I have a hard time opening. I suck at this. Okay. I'm not even gonna try that. Bye bye damage. Yeah, we already saw her. Salomon, Great Burning Shell, a Nebula Dragon, and a Dream Mirror again. Okay, all right. So we got two of them in the last, like, two packs or so. Can we pull that Starlight Rare IP Masquerainer? Or, you know, I'll take any Starlight Rare, honestly. I'll, I'll, I'll take the Gorgon Empress. Um... I'll even take the Salomon Great Pyro Phoenix. Like, you know, it would be nice to have just one Starlight Rare pull on the channel because we haven't had that. And same thing over Ghost Rare. It would be nice to see that. You know, I hear things about that. Brutal Beast Battle and an Ultra Rare Wailing of the Unchained Souls. Did we pull this? We did, we did not pull this. We did not pull this. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's rest of the cards. Okay, that's one side done. Here's the second side now. All right. We have one more side left, and I'm excited because now we can figure out what our other secret rare will be, or starlight rare, or something rare. <laughs> bye bye damage again. Call drone of the old man, Dino Wrestler, Valenex, DD Patrol Plane, Dream Mirror. A neuro famines, yeah, I don't know. Evil Eye of the Gor Gorgonio, Gor Gorgonio. Jeez, oh my gosh, why? Wait. Okay, I'm not gonna complain. Not gonna complain. I'm not gonna make a negative video. I'm a very negative person. I gotta be more positive. That's how you get better pulls, right? You have to have a positive mindset. So I gotta switch to some positivity here. Okay, we gotta pull something good here. Dream Mirror of Chaos, Old Mind. Protocol Gardner, 
Unchained Twins Aruha. And a Draco Beast of the Tenyi. This is a very nice looking card. It's ultra rare. I think this is like four bucks, three bucks or something like that. Cool, 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 cool. Good looking card though. I'll take it. We're filling out the uh, commons as well. I don't know. Uh, do you guys think I should get a second booster box? I said in the uh, in the Chaos Impact one. Uh, sorry, not the Chaos Impact. <laughs> Uh, what am I talking about? In the previous uh, previous unboxing on the Dawn of... I said in the previous video on... Sorry about that. Oh, my dog. Dawn of Majesty video that I was going to probably do a max of two boxes. Uh, maybe separate times, but two boxes because we got another one of these uh, mandarins. And, oh, this is a pretty card. Marin Sis Crystal Heart. Uh... The reason I don't want to do... Oh, okay. I, I like her, too. She's a very good card to use in um, Dual Links. But, yeah, I, I said the reason why I don't want to open too many booster boxes, I don't want to buy, like, five to ten of them, like, you know, you see a lot of people on YouTube doing, is because that kind of ruins the whole, like, good luck thing, you know? Like, I, I, I know there are ways to get the entire set, basically. Um, and as a collector, you do kind of want to do that, but... I do miss the days of testing your luck and like getting something crazy. Gizmag Yada, the Gleaming Vanguard. So this is a card that we haven't had yet. But yeah, I, I do like testing my luck and saying, hey, look, it's one in a million kind of feel like, you know, and if you buy so many boxes and you keep buying until you get it, I mean, you're bound to get it, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. If I want a card bad enough, I might do it, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I do like testing my luck here. What? How do you say this? Bryn E. Gear. I don't know. Dream Mirror. Another one of these. And a Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. That is our other secret rare right here. I don't know how much this card costs, but I don't think it costs too much. So we got a Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid and an Unchanged Soul of Anguish as our two secret rare cards we still have some packs to go though so maybe we can still pull something fun let's just round out the collection can we get some good looking cards like i i just like good looking cards sometimes i don't even even care that they're not worth anything i just i just like good looking cards overburst dragon and of course evil eye of gore genio all right I would even just take the IP Masquerina, like the ultra rare one. I just think she looks really cool. And of course she does, you know, like anime girls, everybody wants a waifu. So that makes a lot of sense. Protocol Gartna, a Gladiator Beast Sagitari. That's nice. Okay, so I haven't seen this Gladiator Beast before. And Primal Congrate. <laughs> That's a pretty cool looking card. All right, so let's keep going here. We got a, uh, we got like what, five packs left? Five packs here. So if anything, we're just adding to the uh, collection. So nothing too crazy, but I don't have any of these anyway, so might as well, doesn't hurt. We have a Crow Bomb, Armor, Dragon, DD, Patrol Paint, uh, playing Cauldron of the Old Man. Crusher Run, Gladiator Beast United. This is like our third, fourth, fifth copy. This is like our third copy of this. All right, Gladiators, Gladiators. I might run a Gladiator deck. It's not that great, I, I heard in the Master format, right? But hey, you know what? You play the cards that you like. That's the best way to play Yu-Gi-Oh! If you want to get back into Yu-Gi-Oh! That is. That's what we used to do in the old days, too. I have this card in um, Duel Links. This is Gladiator Beast Actrox Adarix. I don't use them. Nice. Okay, cool. IP Masquerina. This is the ultra rare, not the Starlight rare. But for a second there, I was like, oh, oh my gosh. But I will take that. I love seeing this card. This is, I think, like a $15 card or something like that. But hey, this is one of the cards that you're looking for. This, this, this girl right here, IP Masquerina. Beautiful looking card. I love it. I'll take it for sure. Would have loved the Starlight, but you know what? I am not complaining. We got our girl, just not the one that makes millions. 
or actually it's like a thousand dollars. Actually, it's not even a thousand anymore. I think it, I, I think the price has gone down on the card. But regardless, that is a card that I do think will hold value in the long run. Uh, DD Patrol Plane, Blessed Wings. This is a great card. This is actually a really good card. Um, and another one of these. But yeah, in in uh, in uh, Duel Links, this card is actually not that easy to get. I still haven't uh, been able to get multiple copies of this. Actually, I, I want I want more copies of this card in Duel Links. But yeah, some of like that's a rare. <laughs> that's a rare. But in Duel Links, I think that's a super rare in Duel Links. I I don't know. I could be wrong. But yeah, I just know the support cards, the uh, magic. Sorry, the spell cards and the um, trap cards. For the Arrow Mage um, archetypes are actually not that easy to get in, in the boxes there. Dream Mirror Phantasms. Very nice looking card. There we go. That's the rest. We got two more packs to go. I am not even mad. I got, I got the girl I wanted from this uh, set. And although it's not the Starlight one, like I said, it doesn't matter. I am a happy, happy, happy Yu-Gi-Oh card collector. First box of this, Chaos Impact, and I got it. I don't I don't know how hard it is to even get the ultra rare of her. It's probably pretty easy. Most of you guys probably got it right away. If not, let me know how many it took you guys just to get the ultra rare one. Jelly Canyon and a, another one of these Mirror Friends. Ah, uh, she's so cute, but is it she or he? I love dogs. <laughs> Luna, the Dark Spirit. This is a cool-looking card. I think I've seen it somewhere before, too. All right, last Chaos Impact pack. Gladiator Beasts Comeback. Can we pull something? Last pack magic. Let us see. Here we go. All right, Dream Mirror of Chaos, Crusher Run, Mimi Kuruku, Unchained Twins, Rikia, and a Gladiator Beast, Domitin. I know this card. I can't say his name, Domi Domitanus, but I do have this card in Duel Links, and I do play that on my um, Gladiator Beast deck. So very cool card to end it with. However, let's take a look at the money cards that we have. I say money cards, but they're not really worth much. IP Mascarena Ultra Rare. Beautiful looking card. It looks like it's cut relatively even too. So this is a pretty good looking card. Firewall Dragon Dark Fluid. Unfortunately, Dark Fluid is not the uh, type of fluid that we wanted. Draco, <laughs> Draco Berserker of the Tenyi. This is a pretty interesting card. Welling of the Unchained Souls. Unchained Soul of the Anguish. So a lot of souls in this bounty. Haha. <laughs> and Draco Masters of the Tenyi. So that does it for this video. Be sure to come back. Subscribe. Uh, if you like watching noobs like me try to learn Yu-Gi-Oh! by pulling cards. And let me know what you guys think of my pull here. If this is a decent pull. If this is not that great of a pull for me. Like I said, as long as I got her, I'm good. And then we did get her in our first ever Chaos Impact box. So I'm pretty happy as it is. I'll see you guys next time.